fucking bullet stuck in there. React and look for counters. I want my knee under his shoulder and this leg back at base. Worked on recovery, right? After you get beat, someone takes a really nice shot. Maybe it's a really well-timed shot. Or maybe they set it up really well and they get really, really deep. You gotta be able to recover in these positions and somehow get back to your baseline or recover to improve your position to where now you have the advantage and can hopefully start looking for a score and counters. Now, again, we were talking about short offense, right? And recovering from a beat position, getting the short offense. And we just talked about single leg, how we use the head pinch. Now, let's say he gets a low single or a low ankle, right? It's gonna be hard to kind of cover and look for short offense here. Um, and it's gonna be hard to kind of get to baseline when he's got your ankle and his head's in the knee. Just really tough, but um, I actually, if I can, I'll show what I typically like to do to kind of work back to that position. So his head's in the knee, he's trying to get me to my hip. If he's got, doing a good job keeping pressure in the knee, he'll get me to my hip and I'm in trouble, okay? So what I like to do is, if, he feel, if I feel his head pressure in the knee, I just, a quick little tap to stuff the head to take him through, okay? So he takes that low single, tear, boom, stuff the head, okay? I'm gonna take a knee here, okay? And I like to go deep on the tight waist, right? Like a belly wizard, or I like to go deep on this side. So if I come here, what I'll do is I'll drive and get him to his hip, okay? And now I'm gonna take a knee, bring this knee that's behind his head in front of his face, push it away with my leg, and look to circle, right? Well, the other thing that I like to do is, and this is where um, you kind of work back to baseline as you stuff the head, you take the knee kind of behind the arm. This left hand gets deep. And what I like to do is, I like to keep this knee and this leg back at bay so he can't get his knees underneath him and start to work up, right? So if he starts to try and bring that leg in, I'll keep it pushed back, okay? Now, it's hard for getting his knee under his chest. And if he can't get his knee under his chest, it's gonna be hard for him to come up underneath, switch, look for the finish, okay? So again, takes a slow ankle shot. Boom, I stuff the head, I'm here. I wanna settle the position first. He's gonna be trying to score, he's gonna be wrestling. I like to, like I said, I like to push this back because he's trying to bring it underneath and to his chest so he can come, under, come up. So now he can't do that. And what I like to do is I like to switch this belly wizard to the armpit, essentially. And if I can, I'm gonna start putting weight this way. And I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna pull up, okay? My knee is above his shoulder. I want, I want my knee under his shoulder. So that way I can square my hips up for the sprawl, okay? So we end up here. I want to, one, stop him from advancing his position first. Like we talked about, defend first, then look for your counter. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this instructional video, this is only the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more instructional content on our website, app.athletesocean.com. Back to the video. I got to make sure I stop his momentum, right? And stop him from advancing. So I want to come here, I want to settle on everything tight. I'm sitting back, because if I'm too high and my chest is too tall, he's going to bring me up and come out the back door. So when I come here, just, he shoots this low. I'm here and everything's back. My weight's back while my chest is forward. I don't want to be coming over the top. It makes it easier for him to come up. So everything's settled and I feel like I'm like angering myself here. So now I got this really deep arm, okay? And I'm sometimes pushing on this elbow if he tries to double off, right? I'm keeping this trapped. Right, then I'm pushing this back also to keep him from coming up. Now, once I feel like I've stopped him from advancing and he kind of pauses to think about what he wants to do next, it's that window where he stops trying to advance position that now I start to recover, react, and look for counters, okay? So he gets on a shot, it's beautiful, it's really, really nice. I gotta defend first, okay? because he's gonna be trying to score. So boom, I defend, boom, 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 I settle, and I feel him now pause. When he pauses, what that tells me is he's stuck. And when he's stuck, he now has to problem solve and take a second to think about what to do next so he can end up with a score. 
But you got to recognize when he pauses, now that's my opportunity to advance. I've defended, defended, defended. He pauses. Now it's my turn to look for offense and look for my counter. So boom, he pauses. Now I'm going to switch this from the belly wizard to the armpit. I'm going to pull up like I talked about before. And I'm going to slide my knee here, but I don't want to give him a single. Okay, so I don't want to overdo it. All I want to do is just literally slide his shoulder above my knee. And then I'm going to take my foot off the mat, put my knee down, and extend my legs and throw my hips in. And now, what happened? His hand came off the leg. It's now on the mat. And now, it's go time, right? I got my bite. I can get to the head. Look for short offense. I come here, and I can start looking for my counter offense. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Boom, all single. I got him to bed first. We're wrestling. He's trying to come up. Wrestle me. Boom, I'm settling. He starts to come up. Boom. I slip that knee inside. Here. Boom. This is huge. Super important. This knee slips inside. And now I apply pressure to my, with my hips. This foot comes off the mat so I can release my sprawl. And I square up and defend. Now he's hands on the mat. And I look for my go behind. Okay. This also works if, let's say, he's advancing. I can still recover without completely getting him to pause. He gets this low ankle. Boom, I'm here. He starts to come up. I can pull his shoulder still and slide my knee through and shoot it through. I'm going to come up off my knee just so I can shoot it through. Okay. I'm holding myself up and I'm holding a lot of my weight on this side of the body. So he's not carrying my weight and I'm free to move a little bit more, okay? So he starts to come up. I post here, I almost like to a push up and this foot is gonna help take me off the mat. And now I'm gonna shoot my knee through, square up, okay? Ideally, if you can get him to pause, and do it without him coming up, that's what you want. But sometimes, the guy's really good, he's transitioning very quickly, and we gotta work with what we got. So, takes a ankle, I'm here, he starts to come up, boom. And that's what it'll look like. Now, to my go behind. It's quick, it's very quick, okay? So I'm here, boom, I come here, I settle, he starts to come up out the back door, boom. Score my hips up really fast, pulls off the hip, Post off the knee, some kick up knee. Look for my goal behind. So you can go bounce him to the elbow. You can do the misdirection stuff that we talked about as well. One more time. Rest of the foot. I'm here. Boom. Boom. Bounce. Get him to his elbow. Cover. Okay. One more time. Rest of the foot. I'm here. Stuff in the hips. Now I got, again, control the space of my elbows. Big bounce. I can big bounce come this way, or I can come to the same side. I can do bounce. He comes back up to his hand. Miss direction. Side off to a single. I got a lot of options there, but again, this was focused on recovery from a low ankle shot or a low single. Back to our baseline. And then once we get to our baseline, his hand comes off the hamstring. We're able to get our hips squared up. It's go time once you feel that. Now I'll start looking for your counter offense. If you guys want to master these positions and get better technically, there's way more of this content on app.athletesocean.com. Go check it out.